welcome back everyone so things have been going pretty well with this assassin spare hatchet build in fact it's just again i've just never had so much fun on a build in my life and so this is a, a little cool 1v2 that i had in an opr i'm like running away from my life because there's a whole bunch of them on me but then i managed to just get two remaining so i decided to fight them so the fire death just saved my life literally to decide death. i'm playing with a hundred con right now so my damage is pretty high I'm low, but I get that guy pretty low, so I managed to finish him off. And then it just becomes a 1v1. I managed to hit them with the social distancing, and then um, I, I avoid the repost and then hit them with a stun, and that's enough to kill them. So in this video, I want to cover how my dueling's been going, what I've learnt, um, specifically how to fight great swords and bruises, but also how I've just become more aggressive but evasive at the same time. And I also want to go over um, a couple of OPR fights that I've had that were, you know, somewhat okay and just sort of shows it in action. So one of the things I've been learning is to don't keep too much of a distance. It's one of the things that I um, keep doing is that I would attack someone and then back off. And so I'm learning to sort of stay on my opponent and be a lot more aggressive and just try to dodge their attacks. So you can see he's trying to hit me and every time he tries to, and especially the big hits, like on the Warhammer, you want to be avoiding the um, Shockwave in particular, just the two stuns really. Um, you'll see an example of it here. So here I'm standing on top of him and then he goes for a big two stun combo. And so then that allows me, so he goes for his first stun here. So I dodge that, but I'm staying on him, I get a hit in, dodge that, and then I jump back in and then just stay right on him. So it's just so much damage coming at him. So that's what I've been trying to do. So you can see another example of that here where I'm staying on top of him, just trying to avoid his hits, sort of slowly pissing, and then he goes for his big path of destiny, I dodge that, get back, hit him again, then he goes for a stun, dodge that, and then I'm back on him again. And then he's raced all his cooldowns, so I just pop Berserk and then burst him down, basically. So, one thing I need to definitely improve on, especially in OPR, is I tend to, well, look at me, I keep running out of stamina too, apparently. Uh, one thing I need to keep my eye on, but also, I need to just not rush my attacks. Like, I'm constantly just trying to rush my attacks. So I managed to get all my attacks off of them and kill them. But you'll notice in these later, these other people, like, I'm missing a lot of my attacks as I'm just rushing them. Is a third guy coming over? And so, um, that's definitely an ex that's definitely something that I need to be working on. Nice. Uh, and I tried a hundred con, and I did really like it, but um, you do a lot of damage and you get a lot of burst kills, but you're just so squishy, you get blown apart by muskets and bows. So I definitely think 150 con is the way to go. Um, I've done a build video, so if you're interested, check that out. Here's a better example of me missing my attack, so I'm in stealth, so he doesn't actually see me there. So I managed to get, like, the first bit of damage on him. So I get him quite low, but then I just get overly excited trying to get the kill, and then I just completely rush all my attacks. You'll see, like, I miss a lot of them. So there, I miss one there, and then I get caught up by a stun because I'm so focused on it. And then I managed to get him with a few spears there. But he's so low, and see, I mean, like, I'm just not hitting anyone, missed that feral rush, and then basically he just gets away, so... So that was days one and two. Days three and four, I kind of saw more improvements. I guess it's more along the same lines of what I've been doing, but a little bit more finessed. And also, um, next up is like, I really was just getting absolutely creamed by great swords. And so um, I really, really wanted to pick up some tips on how to fight them. So this is what we'll be covering at the next. So this is how my fights with greatswords typically went. They've just got such insane bursts that they can almost one-shot you. So as I progressed through duels, I realized that it was just really important to let them do their main attacks and just make sure you dodge them and try to get your attacks in between. A little bit like I was already doing with the bruises, but I had to learn what those attacks were to dodge them. So when I did that, you could see that my fights against the great swords was actually getting a little bit more decent and I was getting them low. So you can hear me. See, so you can see there, I'm starting to figure it out. So then what I tried to do was, also, while also trying to dodge their attacks, I tried to get the sweep in 
between their attacks to get the stun off on them so I can run, like, kind of unload my damage on them. So you can see that here. He goes to rush me, and then I manage to sweep him, get him on, and then I can do my perforate on him. And then I just take away all his health because he's in offensive stance and he's taking a lot of damage, and then I can win. So that kind of gave me the confidence against other great swords. Um, I just became a little... I, I still think I'm probably going to lose more than I lo win at the moment. I definitely need to get better practice, but I would say at this stage the tactic is try to be as aggressive as you can, dodge their main attacks, and try to catch them in a sweep. Um, and then when you can do that, um, or even go to Volt Kit, get them in a stun, and then do your perf rate on them, because if you can catch them while they go into offensive stance and unload your damage on them, then you should be able to kill them almost in one hit, or very quickly. In terms of bruises, it's the same sort of pattern. Uh, this guy is like a really, really good bruiser on our server. And you can see the amount of burst damage he can get in on me if I'm not playing properly. Like, he can basically get rid of my health in like a pretty quick amount of time. So what I try to do is I try to bait out his two stuns, which he's just done then. And then that was my strategy. And then I just went hardcore on him. Of course... Um, I wasn't really playing very, like, I want, you want to be aggressive but still evasive. Here I just get too aggressive and just start basically hitting him and trading with him. And, um, he still wins the trade because he has so much burst damage himself. So he ends up, uh, finishing me off. So here I basically adopt the same strategy as did with the Greatsword. I get them to burst through all their stuns. I run myself out of stems so I, ha I can't go in straight away so I've got to keep my distance a little bit. But then I get him but I manage to catch him in a sweep and do a lot of damage on him and then back off. So that's kind of the strategy. You let them burst, use up all their stuns, dodge them, and then you get aggressive on them. But, you know, aggressive, like safely aggressive. Evasively aggressive. Our fight's got a lot closer after that because obviously he, I, he he's very good. So I think he figured out my strategy pretty quickly and then came up with a counter strategy. So even though I got him to burst through his stuns here and I go and I get really aggressive, he's like... Block, it looks like he's blocking a lot of my damage, and so he's able to finish me off by just playing really smart. I mean, he's a really, really good bruiser, so... Here's a good little fight I had with a musket where they got me down to really low health, but it just shows the ability of this build to completely turn the fight around. So here I'm just trying to stay alive. Um, I mean, they're full health, I'm low health, but once I get on them, you can really just bring their health down really fast. So by this stage, these days three or four, our OPRs, we're just, we're having a lot more fun. I've had a lot more fun on OPRs on this build than any of the other builds I've played. Uh, I just love the mobility, the kite ability of this build. It's just so good. Um, so we had a good little OPR fight here where the same people kept coming back and fighting us. Um, and so it was just kind of cool. And this is pretty typical of like the kind of OPR fights that we're having right now. And so dueling really, really does help because it um, just helps you become better at one of the X scenes. So it's just a lot more fun. But you can see I really got in trouble there. My Defied Death saved me. I have some guy chasing after me. But I'm just trying to get my health back up. And then I'm going to turn on him, which I do here. So I'm able to plow a lot of damage into him. My sweep misses because he's got grit. But my teammate also comes along and starts putting bows into him. So at this point... We are able to just finish him off really quickly. So then there's another guy sitting inside the moon here that we just need to kill. He's got the musket. So we come out to attack him. This is where you see my uh, where I keep missing my hatches. See, I keep rushing those attacks. So it's definitely something I need to work on. Hatch is quite hard to hit with, I think. Um, so it definitely takes practice. And I am noticing that I'm getting better and better. So here we're just trying to capture the node. And I'm just sort of keeping an eye on what's going on. So I see that they're starting to build up outside, so I run outside to see if I can get a kill. He gets the uh, bomb on me, which isn't very good. I take a lot of damage from that, but I just back up a little bit. Just trying to get someone that I can hit. Eat root face, just squish you. And so um, I see Silky Soft here. So I'm going for him. He's actually quite good at dodging attacks, but I managed to catch him in my skewer. I finish him off. Take a lot of damage from the bow. And then there's just this one guy remaining. So I managed to kill him off too. So... Back we come, kill off the ghost with a wraith, and then we just cap the node um, and just wait for the rest of them to come down, which they do. Honestly, back capping can be really, really effective with, or you can see in this, 
uh, OPR, like we're the only ones capping a node, and um, it takes their team away to have to come back and fight it. So I swear that we have actually turned fights around by doing this kind of strategy. But I see this guy outside again, so I come out to, to try to gank him. Got to keep those, got to mow the lawns, you know, you got to keep those numbers low. I managed to get him with a social distancing, and then I get on this guy with my spear. He actually smartly does the calamity, but I um, managed to finish off the spear after the calamity anyway. So I try to put the door up. And then I can see someone on the outside, so then I come to try to finish this person off. So this is this kind of like, yeah, so I get on them. They're a bow person, but I managed to get them in my skewer, so I finish them off. Old Blue the Bear's trying to knock down the door, so we go kill him. And then we can see some people on the outside. So we are just I'm trying to find out what's going on, how many of them are. It was actually quite funny because we're trying to troll them by rebuilding the door, but eventually I come out. It's the same two that were originally there before. He does the calamity, I get caught by it again. <laughs> Don't learn from my mistakes. Miss my miss my hatchet. Get him with a the foe hatchet though, which is good. And I think my friend's bow finishes him off. So it's uh yeah, so just trying to kill these guys. Got two VP. My bow's my friend of the bow hits him, and then it's just a matter of finishing this last guy off who's on a musket and uh get caught in that repost i thought i timed that properly but i was just a little too quick but i managed to get him with the hatchet so now he's at low health and then i could just finish him off with that and so then i come back inside wait for the next group to come down if we go i get hit by a blimmin' musket bomb but i dodge the musket bomb so don't take any damage miss my <laughs> miss my hatchet again yeah, I've really got to work on that. That's my uh, next thing for the next few days. But I catch him in my spear and I kill him. So yeah, that's um, pretty much wrapping up the next sort of three or four days of the progression on the spear hatchet. Obviously, there's going to be more to come. So hopefully everyone is enjoying the series. And um, yeah, and I'll see you all soon. It's time to go, I think.